hello, welcome prep stars. It is time for your next piano lesson and I'm so excited to get started with you today. But before we do that, we need to sing the welcome song. Are you ready to sing hello? Let's do it. Sing hello, hello. Sing hello, hello. H E L L O. Sing hello, hello. Sing hello, hello. H E today. It's going to be a great day today because we're learning about some new intervals and how we play them. So this should be really exciting. So before we get started on our music, let's do a couple things for me. If you don't mind liking and commenting on this video, let me know what you think about it, okay? The next thing, make sure to subscribe on YouTube. That's easy to do. That's just one big red button. You hit it and there you go. You'll get notified of all of our lessons. Next, don't forget to join our Discord server. So moms, dads, and grown-ups watching, make sure to join Discord so that your little learner gets that feedback from me on their piano learning. I can't wait to see them on there. And then last but not least, thank you so much. If you're watching this video, you are contributing monthly to my Patreon to keep these lessons alive. So I could not be doing this without your support. So thank you so very much. All right, kids, are we ready? Let's open our lesson book, okay? We're going to turn to our page 13. This was a song we learned last lesson, What Can We Do? And we're gonna play it together, okay? Page 13. Here we go. Let's switch over to Piano View and we'll play it together. All right, I'm here. There's our big pretty piano. All right. What can we do begins in our C position. So find your middle C. Our right hand finger, one thumb will be on middle C. And we'll count down one, two, three notes to our finger, one thumb, left hand on our G below middle C. Now I'm going to count off. And don't forget we have a repeat sign on this, okay? Let's do it together. One, two, ready, play. through this song. Now, really interesting things we saw here. Part of the song was detached or separated notes, right? But then the other part of the song was slurred. So you know slurs are long, smooth, legato sounds throughout your song. You can see them happening there at the second half of line one and the second half of line two also. So good job if you did your slurs. All right, are we ready to turn the page for a new song? I think you're ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Turn the page. Oh yes, on page 14, we are going to be talking about those intervals, right? So you noticed at the beginning of this lesson, we talked about how I was going to teach you 
different ways how to play intervals, right? So with that, we know you can play intervals one note at a time, right? One note up to another note. One at a time. But did you know you could also play intervals at the same time? Take a listen. You can play both notes at the same time. Now, if you look on page 14, we see that when you play those notes one at a time, they're called melodic intervals. Can you say melodic intervals? Good, yes, melodic. Now, when we play those notes at the same time, they are called harmonic intervals. Can you say harmonic intervals? Nice job, all right. So with this new knowledge, I want to see if I can play these practice lines of music for you on page 14. I want you to follow along in your music, use those listening ears, and see how it goes together. Are you ready? Let's switch to piano view so you can follow. Okay, so we're starting here in our C position on our first practice line on page 14 we're beginning with our melodic intervals okay let me count off and we will start one two ready play second intervals. Melodic intervals, remember, one note at a time, okay? Now when we move down to the second practice line on page 14, harmonic intervals are here. And look how they're written. They look kind of funny. They're right next to each other or right on top of each other. And they kind of look like best friends or right next to each other, right? So when we play them, and you see them written like that, you know they're harmonic, played at the same time. Let's switch to piano view so you can follow along and hear how it sounds. All right, so those harmonic intervals back in C position. Right hand finger one thumb on our C and left hand finger one thumb on our G. We begin with the right hand with the finger one and two together, right? Best friend notes. These are our seconds. Then it switches to a one and a three. We're skipping that D finger two. And that right there is your harmonic third. All right, let's count off. One, two, ready, play. Second and a third. Back to second and third. Good, left hand, second. Stretch to a third. those harmonics. Don't they sound really cool? They're so different from melodic intervals. Well, now I want to play a little game. It's called What Do You Hear? But I need a friend to help me. <laughs> it's been a while since we've talked to our friend Mango the parrot. Do you want to see how he's doing? All right, let me see if he's ready, okay? Hey, Mango, are you here? play a game with you today. What? What? A game? Oh, I really want to play. There we go. Oh, hey! Hey, Fritz, how's it going? I want to play the What Can You Hear game, and we're going to talk about intervals. Right, Miss Izzy? Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about our intervals today. Remember, melodic intervals are played one note at a time, and harmonic are played at the same time. Yeah, that's really, really good. So let's get started. Can you get ready to listen? Oh yeah, get ready to listen. 
I'm going to play an interval at the piano, and you're going to tell me if it's harmonic or melodic. Are you ready? Great! Turn all those ears. Okay, here we go, all right? I think I know that one. Don't tell them. They've got to listen. Here's number one again. Listen carefully. Yes, that's a great one to start with for sure. Oh, thanks, Mango. <laughs> All right, here's number two. Melodic or harmonic, you tell me. Oh, that's a tricky one. I don't know if I can remember that one. Do you want to hear it again, Mango, so you can remember? Squat! Good idea. I think that's good. All right, here's number two again. Mango wanted to hear it again. Hmm, I, I think I got it that time. Did you get it too? Oh yeah, I, I think you may have gotten it. Let's move on to number three, okay? Here we go. Ooh, I think I know that one too. What about you? Did you think it was harmonic or melodic? Hmm. Let's play number three one more time so our friends can really think about it. Here we go. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's move on to number four. Okay, Mango, are you ready for number four? Are you ready for number four? <laughs> Here we go. I like the sound of that one. Mango, what do you think? Squat! That one sounds pretty cool. I like it a lot. Oh, yes. Ooh, yes. All right. So, that's going to be number four. Do you want to hear it one more time just to make sure? Mm, yes, definitely. For sure. Okay, number four. Okay, there it is. And now we have our final one. Are you ready to listen? Squat! I think I'm ready. Are you ready, friends? I know you can do it. I know you can do it. All right, so Mango believes in you, and so do I. Listen carefully to number five. Here we go. Hmm. Ooh, that's a really good one to end on, Miss Izzy. I like that one. I like that one, too. It sounds happy to me. Yeah, what do you think? Melodic or harmonic? Okay, friends. Okay, we did a great job on that one. Did you enjoy our game? I know I enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. Mango, thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a great time. Your hair's a little crazy today. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't really have time to comb it this morning. We were playing a game so quickly I didn't have a chance to. Well, Mango, that's okay. We still love you, even with the crazy hair. <laughs> All right, friends, I'll see you later. Mango, you're so funny. <laughs> Did you do well on your harmonic and melodic intervals? I bet you did. So, with this new knowledge we have, we're going to get a new song today called Pop Song. Are you ready for this one? Yes! Oh, it's so cute with these little penguins too. And they're dancing with their top hats. It's so nice. So let's look at this one. I see that we have 4-4 four, four time. That's four beats per measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. We begin in C position, left hand finger five on C, right hand finger one on middle C. We have a combination. On line one, we have melodic intervals, and on line two, surprise, surprise, we have harmonic intervals. So this is a great song to learn today since we're learning all about those. I do see a repeat sign. Do you see it too? Oh, very good. And we have a strong forte. Now I know you're very good at playing forte. So this should be a great song for you to learn today. Let's go ahead and check it out. Switching to piano view so you can see where I've put my fingers. All right, there we are. Pop song. 
There we are with our right hand finger one on our middle C, our left hand finger one on our G below middle C. This song begins with the left hand, pinky finger five on C. So let's see how it sounds. One, two, ready, play. C. get a little bit funny looking but just remember when you're looking at a harmonic second it kind of looks like a whole note or another note next to each other kind of like how best friends take a picture face to face together cheek to cheek that's what a harmonic second looks like now when you're doing a harmonic third it's kind of like those two faces are on top of each other right they're stacked on top of each other so that's how you can think about it, okay? That was so great, I loved pop song. So practice this one for this week, okay? It's going to be great. Don't forget to post your video in our class channel so I can see how you're doing. Let's check out our technique book now, okay? I want you to see if you can turn to page eight. And on page eight, we have our new technique called harmonic harmonicas <laughs> but you know what I think we have to play the one we had before don't we yeah I think we do <laughs> turn to page seven first let's do a review of our rock and thirds okay I'll switch to piano view and we'll see how it goes yeah this one has that tied note in there and I know some of you have been posting some great videos of rock and thirds Find your C position for both hands. We're starting with the right hand on finger one C. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. C. to our new technique. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> On page eight, I want you to look at all the harmonics we have. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whoa, there's fourteen just on line one. Let's look at line two. Oh, uh, let's see. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh my goodness, there's 28 harmonic intervals in the song. But guess what? There's actually more. Because it's a repeat sign. So it's actually 28 times 2. That's a lot. All right. That's okay. Let's take a look at this one, though. But we're starting with those harmonic seconds and thirds in the right hand. Then it switches to the left hand. Let's see how it sounds and we'll switch to piano view. Here we go. All right, in C position, we've got to make sure to play these harmonic intervals nice and evenly throughout. I see quarter notes and half notes. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, play. Second, You're going to do so well learning those harmonic intervals. I just know it. So you'll be practicing harmonic harmonicas alongside your pop song, okay? Two songs to practice this week. Let me know how you're doing on them, okay? Let's close your technique book. And I want you to open your note speller book. This is your note speller book, remember? All right, turn to page eight and nine, okay? And on page eight and nine, you will find your homework for this week. Now on page eight, you will see we are gonna be measuring thirds going down. You see the hot air balloons there? Yeah, so you're gonna be practicing writing some thirds. And then on page nine, you will see, we're also going to be learning a little more about melodic intervals, okay? Now remember, melodic intervals are played one note at a time. And you'll notice in your music that you'll have both melodic thirds and melodic seconds. So pay close attention to those notes on the staff. Very, very good. Now, also take a look at your theory book, okay? <laughs> Double homework this week, only because last time we didn't get any homework. So this time we're gonna do a little catch up. On page 12, you have another page on melodic intervals. We have this really funny frog up here to give us a good reminder, okay? You've got seconds and thirds in both the treble staff and the bass staff you'll have some practice writing them too. And on page 13, this is where we get to explore harmonic intervals. Now remember what we said about harmonic intervals, played at the same time, right? Those notes are played at the same time. 
Our seconds look like hugging best friends. And our thirds look like two faces stacked on each other, right? Yes, kind of like the building, uh, the parts of a snowman, right? Like you're building a snowman. So you get to practice drawing some of those too, okay? Very good. So that's gonna be your homework for this week. How does that sound? I think you're gonna do great. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes our piano lesson for this week. I'm thrilled that we're able to get together today. So let's sing goodbye together. Are you ready? <laughs> let's do it. Sing goodbye, goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. Time to sing. day today. I'm so glad we had piano today. Big hugs! I'm excited to see how you're doing and we'll talk soon, okay? Get some really good piano practice in. I'll see you later, prep stars. Bye-bye! <laughs>